if the American comes, Colonel? If she's actually mad enough to try and save her nomad friend, neutralize her without violence. We must send her to American justice in one piece, if possible. And... the young nomad? Olga Efimova is on it. I've met a lot of people in my life as a soldier, Colonel. I've seen things. And, Sergeant? Dr. Efimova gives me the shivers. Indeed, me too, soldier. Me too. Can't leave while they're still there. As for taking them on... A military device. Sarah was right. Judging by the equipment in there, those soldiers aren't joking around. From the looks of this mic, I bet the voice will be completely distorted. Dr. Olga Efimova. Come in. Olga. What's wrong, Olga? I... Helmut thinks he saw the American lurking in the sick ward. You have to stop her as soon as you can. Is that idiot psychiatrist really sure? I'm sure we would have seen Kate Walker enter the clinic. Colonel, if you'd rather run the risk of letting that cow run free, it's up to you. I hope you're not disturbing us for nothing, Olga Efimova. Earth happened here. Miss Walker, come quickly. Doctor Zamiatine, but what's going on? It's Olga. She has brought her soldier friends into the clinic. Just after Steiner fitted Kirk's prosthesis, then the soldiers wanted to stop them from leaving. Steiner refused to listen to them. He kicked up a fuss. So they worked him over. My friend had an attack. Miss Walker. I'm here, Mr. Steiner. You have to 
save young Kirk. That woman, Olga, she's a real monster, you know. Your enemy and that colonel protect the Yukols from those criminals. Make sure they get to their destination. You can count on me, Mr. Steiner. Steiner, are you all right? With a bit of rest, some medication, and a little luck, yes. But please, now. You really must hurry and help young Kirk, Miss Walker. My dear Miss Walker, your medallion, the heart, you know, it's in very good condition. It contains a lot of essential data from an XZ-2000 automaton. Everything as it were, you understand, on that particular model, the heart and intelligence were intermingled. So then, it wouldn't take all that much for you to get your friend Oscar back one day. I... Yes, Mr. Steiner. Of course. I'll remember. Completely fascinated. Oh, Kirk. If you can hear me, please just listen to me. Your tribe needs you. The migration can't happen without you. <sighs> it's hopeless. There's a note stuck underneath. Oh, that Banshee Olga took the time to tear up the coat, of course. He's unconscious. 
I have to wake him up. Another one of Olga's neuroleptics. Who knows how much she injected? No, injecting him with an empty syringe could kill him. Kate Walker? What on earth are you doing here? I'll explain later, Kirk. We have to get back to the tribe right away. They're waiting for us to cross the lake. I can't remove these restraints with just my hands. There's a compartment down along the side of the bed. The staff handled it each time they released me. For coming back for me, Kate Walker. Did you see how fast I can run on my new leg? Yes, Simon Steiner is definitely a genius craftsman. Find him? Isn't he with you now? Your grandfather had another attack, I'm afraid. But Dr. Zamiatin stabilized him and is looking after him. He's got a good chance of making it this time, too. Kate Walker, we have to go. I have to go, Sarah. Thanks for everything you and your grandfather have done for us. No, but thank you, Kate. He 
here. Please take the scarf so that you will remember us. That's magnificent. Thank you, Sarah. Goodbye, Kate Walker. You have underestimated that woman, Dr. Olga Ethimova. Doubtless. But the game isn't over yet, Colonel. Indeed. And we are going to change the rules as well. Is something wrong, Captain? What with all the time it took you to save that young cripple? Now we're in the middle of the Lake Spirit's territory. And now it's his dinner time. Captain, please don't start talking again about that so-called monster. It's him! It's the Lake Monster! Oh my god! Not at all, Captain. Look outside. Just what we needed. We can't go around? That will take us off the route for Nahodotsk. We'd end up losing far too much time. We'd be better off trying to use the crystal's breakers to get through the ice instead. Go on down into the machine room and try to start them up. Take it easy on the bottle while I'm in the machine room, please. I'm counting on you. What on earth? Go and turn on the damn breakers for me now, instead of preaching the good word. When I get down to the machine room, what do I do? Turn on the breakers, lower them down to the ice, and make sure you adjust the power. If you need any help, I can guide you from up here. The breakers? What are they? Well, just like the name says, they break the ice. That's what let us operate as a ferry to the amusement park in Baranor, even when the lake was completely frozen. In the good old days. All right, I'm going. And on the double, please. Because if we stay stuck like this, we're just like a worm wriggling about on the end of a hook for that monster lurking below us. Yukul matches. Nanook Metal.
What is it, Captain? Why on Earth are the breakers still not working yet? It's the mechanism. It keeps stalling. You need to be a lot faster with the gears. Once in third, make sure you change to second really quickly. Well done. Good work, Captain. How long before we get to Nowadusk? It'll be in just a few more hours, Post. Another iceberg? No. This time it came from the stern. Stuck. Good lord. Go and see what's holding us up and report right back fast. You should go and do what the captain asked you to do, Kate Walker. We're losing time. to the running light. Gotta shake a leg and turn them all off. Can you tell me how to turn off the running lights? Just get there and break all the bulbs, damn it! And you? I'm going to try to start the engines back up and get us out of here. Good luck, Bosun.
catch the light as long as the monster is focused on it. Empty. Chaos here soon. I have to hurry. Let's hope the monster will leave us alone now. Diversion for the monster. What kind of diversion? What are you talking about? We're going to have to convert this lifeboat into floating bait, then drop it down into the water. That should draw the beast's attention away from the crystal. I'll go and fix the gramophone, and you go get the light. Hurry!
incorrigible. Inlet. But what can I use? Lifeboat will move away from the ship. My God, I've been waiting for this for 20 years. Farewell, Kate. I know you'll get the pipsqueaks there safe and sound. Captain. You hear me, you bastard? 20 years! 20 years! So come on, now! It's time to settle things once and for all. Come on! Come on! Come get some! Come on, monster! It's Captain almost speaking to you! Scared of what? Oh, 
me stay to walk a better? Yes. I think. Are we at now dusk? Uh, Miss Kate Walk should talk to Kirk. Him in front part of boat. Kirk, what's going on? Baranur, but... The monster's attack knocked us off course. Then we ran aground here. That sign of the spirits. They want to be sure Yukul Caravan follow sacred path like always. Migration must continue. Spirits show right route. <laughs> Before we even think of getting on the road again, we need to figure out how much radiation there is around here. If we get exposed to too much, None of us will see the end of this journey. That's not the only problem, Kate Walker. We ran aground opposite the beach, and the ostriches are stuck in the hold. We have to move the crystal forward before we can open the doors. We'll take care of that as soon as I found a way to measure the radioactivity here. Until then, nobody is to leave the crystal. dangerous if I can't detect the radiation. The level of ambient radiation is indicated here but I need to be sure that the entire zone is safe. Radiation goggles. Empty. Locked. I've seen a lock like this somewhere before.
electric outlets? No more power. Not worrying, please. Me stay close. Stupid of me. Oscar doesn't exist anymore, I know that. And all those automatons look alike. Your medallion, the heart, you know. It's in very good condition. It contains a lot of essential data from an XZ-2000 automaton. Everything as it were. You understand, on that particular model, the heart and intelligence were intermingled. So then, it wouldn't take all that much for you to get your friend Oscar back one day. Maybe if I could... Locked. A lifeguard's hook. Telescopic, it looks like. I may be able to tow the crystal using this tractor. I just have to get to it first. No more power. Miss Catwalk, need some help? 
Yes. Can you connect this cable to the crystal? Maybe that way I'll be able to restore power to the park. No problem. Okay. Thank you so much for your help, Mr. Baruth. The Vorlberg Crest. Hans put it on all of his inventions. I should be able to separate the car from the cart. Another rundown automaton. I should be able to tow the crystal by attaching it to this winch. No ignition controls. I see. The automaton that controlled the tractor has to be connected to this pin, shaped like a Varlberg key, to start it. It's ingenious, but I need an automaton in working order. What on earth is that?
Vorlberg tools. Nothing better for fixing automatons. Kirk, what are you doing here? As you were able to explore the area without being harmed, I authorized the Yukos to go ashore. I have to show you something, Kate Walker. What is it? Is it important? Come on, Miss Kate Walker, come, okay? Below stinking rotten asphalt is sacred path of the migration. Miss Kate Walker must hurry and quickly bring out all ostriches so you calls can take this route. Listen, I do understand that you want to respect your customs to the letter. But moving your caravan through there is suicide. That avenue is completely contaminated. No blah blah, Miss Kate Walker. It is the will of the spirits. Miss Kate Walker saw what always happens when you call the poor spirits. But... Our shaman is stubborn like an old ostrich, Kate Walker. Do you think there may be another route? I don't know. For the moment, I'm concentrating on repairing an automaton to tow the crystal. As soon as I can, I'll try to find another path. Until then, please stay in the safe zones and be careful, okay? Contaminated zone. All of Baranor is contaminated by radiation. The caravan can't go that way.
It's blocking the opening. Remember these locks. They're used to activate all of Hans's inventions. Oh, now I just have to find the right key. What was that? Somebody really went all out.
How on earth did that train car get here? Nothing. I must have forgotten something. interesting here. This needle must be connected to the mechanism's spring. seems to show if the mechanism's spring is up or not. It looks like these holes were made on purpose, but what for? I wonder where this passage leads.
zone is more or less safe. For Andre, my proud soldier. Still fresh. Mushrooms? My Andre. A real girly girl's room. Some Olympic medals. A real girly girl's room. Huh? Who are you? And what on earth are you doing here? Oh, uh, hi. Excuse me. So you're the tramp that decided to use my cart? I had to go all the way up the track with the game I caught on my back because of you. I'm so sorry, ma'am. I'm accompanying this tribe, and we're trying to leave the park. I thought that that old cart was abandoned, and that I could use it. I never thought I'd do any harm. Hmm. Should have looked around a bit first, though. It ain't abandoned for everybody. Hmm. Huh. Don't that beat all. There you are, you good boy. Mama'll have you up and running in no time. What's this key for? For activating the park automatons. You need to give them a good turn of the key every so often, or the poor things get all neurasthenic. Even cantankerous. Plus they break down. There. Listen, I didn't really want to get off on the wrong foot with you. Let me introduce myself. I'm Kate Walker. I'm accompanying the Yukul tribe on their migration to their sacred lands. And you're... Oh, an American. Yeah, yeah, I'd bet anything. Well, well, look at that. An American. <laughs> well, I'm Staff Sergeant Katerina Viktorovna Drostolova. Gold medalist in the shot put in the Moscow Olympics. And the widow of Lieutenant Andrei Grigorovich Drostolov, veteran artillery officer and figure skating champion. Delighted to meet you, Katerina. It seems you might be just the person I'm looking for. Do you think you could let me borrow that strange key of yours? I needed to repair an automaton without whom, I'm afraid, it is impossible for us to leave. 
You've been really polite and you speak the same way they talk in those books, little lady. You do have a bit of backbone, I'll say that much for you. This key is extremely precious to me. As far as I know, your gang of gnomes and you might just be one of those gangs of bandits that hang around here. Scrap dealers looking in every nook and cranny for a pot of gold, despite the radiation around here. I saw those riffraff off with a load of buckshot. If I really were a raider, I'd go for your freight car here. It's charming. Everything here is so precious and in such good taste. How long have you been living here? Oh, it's been almost 40 years now. My Andre and me worked on the park maintenance. After the Olympics came to an end, just goes to show. 40? I thought all the survivors left after the catastrophe. We tried, but the ferry for Valsambor went and left without us. We managed to take shelter hiding down in the subway system after Andre found a way in with the cart. My Andrew show was always very, very organized. He realized that the cave-in at the entrance would probably keep the air pure. But it was already too late for him, unfortunately. Your husband was contaminated? Both of us did, actually. But it didn't do anything to me. That's just the way I was made. Or maybe I was immune because of all the garbage they kept giving me for years so that I could win that trinket at the Olympics. And since then, you've never tried to get to Valsambor? No. I heard that all of the irradiated survivors were sent to this clinic there and they never get out. Besides, I have absolutely everything I need here. Somewhere to call home. I'm near my dear Andreusha. I have my dog and all the game I want. Well, why don't you and your band of savages stock up while you're waiting? Even runs have to eat sometimes, I figure. We don't have much time left. We're being chased. And without your key, we're done for. Fine, fine. Here you go. But you take good care of it, okay? I promise, Katerina. One last thing before I go. You said the air in the subway stayed pure. Does it lead out of the city? Yes. Just follow the tracks right behind my place and you can get out to the other side of Baranor through the Olympia Stadium Station at the end of the line. That's the terminus. Not only do you avoid the radiation, but you also have electricity. It's one of the only circuits in the city that's still working. You just have to be careful. Some of the pipes gave way and flooded some galleries with lake water. Thank you, Katarina, for everything. How charming. What news, Kate Walker? Hmm. Looks like Miss Kate Walker have time for much fun. This ride is the only way I found to get to the park subway station. And what Miss Kate Walker find for you girls? I learned that the subway is safe. No radiation. 
I mean free of all bad spirits, if you prefer. But most important, when you exit from the last station, you can leave the city while still staying on the sacred route of the migration. Where does the station exit to? Some kind of sports complex. Olympia or something like that. Olympia. Land of martyrs. Good work, Kate Walker. I don't know what the Yukos would do without your help. First, we have to hoist the crystal onto the beach. How can we help you, Kate Walker? Well, your ostriches obviously can't use the cart to get to the subway line. Can the Yukos clear the rubble from the station entrance while I take care of the crystal? Go find volunteers. <laughs> See you later, Miss Kate Walker. Any news from the Yukos who are still locked up in the crystal? Everyone is fine, even if the ostriches are getting impatient. We have to get them out soon, Kate Walker. Once we've left Baranur, what is the next step? The River Balatom. Once we cross the sacred bridge over it, we'll be past the border and in Yakistan. Our pursuers won't be able to harm us there. Olympia. Ayahuasca didn't seem to like that. The truth is, I was told that the previous migration went through some bad times. A tragedy that left permanent scars. But you have enough to do for the moment. We'll talk about all that later. I'm going, Kirk. I have to find an old friend. Let's see if Katarina's activation key works. Kate Walker? Hello, Kate Walker. So is everything set? Are we ready to go now? You have refitted the train spring, haven't you? And what about Mr. Hans Vorlberg? Is he on board? There's no more train, Oscar. And there's no more Hans Vorlberg. I beg your pardon? You were supposed to be dead, too. I installed your heart in another model just like you. And it seems to have worked. It's good to see you again, Oscar. Are you all right, Oscar? I... I suppose I am indeed, Kate Walker. To the best of my knowledge, I have not been programmed for anguish. I guess not. But you know, Oscar, you were always very talented. This new body is in great need of maintenance. It is suffering from osteoarthritic rust at every joint. Oscar. I need your help. Of course, Kate Walker. That is my function. We're stuck here in this contaminated area, and we need to leave as soon as possible to escape the people chasing us. But the Yukels and their herd are locked in the boat that brought us to this poisoned beach. We need to hoist the crystal out of the sand and clear the rear hatch so the ostriches can get out. There's a vehicle on the pier over there that I think we can use, but it looks like only an automaton can drive it. I will gladly do what I can to help you, as long as this worn-out body should prove up to the task. Uh, we'll make do, Oscar. You can trust me. Well, I shall indeed do what I can to help, Kate Walker. But, but, Kate Walker, my clothes. I don't have any clothes. Oscar, the Yukels and I have seen a lot worse. Believe me, we'll get over it. No, 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 and no, Kate Walker. 
It is completely out of the question for me to stroll around without covering. My mechanical intimacy is protected by industrial patents that ensure the durability of Voral Burr productions. I need clothing, that's all there is to it. Oscar, please! Do not insist, Kate Walker. I will not move from here without decent attire. All right, all right. I'll get you some clothes. Not a chance. Here. I won't let you be forced into marriage with Tatiana. Thinking of you and that creature. Oh, I shall die. Just as I shall die if I must wed Yuri. It's a very, very sad story, Miss Ketwalk. Pyotr and Jenya smooch smooch love. But families promise Tatiana and Yuri get money from stores of their old great uncle Joseph. Do you really think this is the time to be watching sappy soap operas? We need to have the entranceway clear before Olga and the Colonel get here. Tsa, tsa. You calls go back and dig. There's nothing we can do, my sweet Genia. We'll just have to accept our fate and try to live virtuous lives. We don't have to give in. Maybe. <clears throat> maybe if something happened to Tatiana and Yuri. An accident at the plant, for example. Genia, you can't be thinking. 